Stop selecting from huge drop-down list in Excel. Let's build a clean, dynamic, three-level dependent drop-down list only using one function. No VBA, no named ranges, no complex formulas. Let's go. In this example, we have a list of customers and we want to create dependent drop-down for their country, state, and city. The first step is to set up a list. The structure of this list is very important. First, the headers for each of the states must exactly match the way they appear as a list in the countries. And also, the headers for each of the cities should exactly match how they appear in the list for the states. The next step is to turn these lists into separate tables for each hierarchy. So first, let's create a table for countries. Insert table, and we say yes. And um, we're going to name this table. Uh, we're going to call this table countries. And we can select our preferred design. If you don't want any design, you can select the first one to have no design. Um, or you can select a preferred design. Now let's insert a table for the states. And we're going to call this table states. And lastly, let's do the same for the cities. We go to insert table or you can press control T to insert a table. And we're going to call this table cities. And we can select our preferred style. Now we have three tables. The countries table, which is the first hierarchy, the states table, and lastly, the cities table, just as we have in our data. Before we move on to step three, let's talk about the indirect function. The indirect function returns an array, which is a list. It works in two ways. It either takes in just the table name, and in that case, it returns an entire table, or it takes in a table name and in square brackets, a column name. Now to build our data validation for the first hierarchy country, we would select all of the cells under country, go to data, click on data validation, under the allow menu, choose list, and in source, we're gonna put in our indirect function. It goes indirect. And here we're going to supply the table name. So in double quotes, let's put in the table name countries. Close bracket and hit OK. Now we'll have a drop down of the countries in our country table. We typically use the first indirect structure where our table contains just one column. Where we have a table that contains multiple columns, we will put in our table name and in square brackets the column name within our indirect function. Now before we check out the second hierarchy, I want to show how the ampersand sign works in Excel. We can use the ampersand sign to concatenate or to join multiple texts. So say I can say um, first in double quotes and put a space and join it with what the value in cell C13 and put another ampersand sign and we can call join it to another text that says last. Now we can see how the ampersand sign works in joining multiple texts. This is going to be useful in building the second hierarchy. For the second hierarchy, again, let's assume we want to build a drop-down only for states in Canada. So we go to data validation. In the drop-down, we select list. And here, we're going to use the indirect function and call the table name states. And in square bracket, for now, let's just put in Canada and close the square bracket close the double quotes and then close the parenthesis and hit OK. 
Now we'll have a drop down across that has only Canadian states, regardless of what country. For us to make this drop down dependent on the values in column B, let's go again into the data validation. Now we're going to replace Canada with the cell address of um, the adjacent cell. So that's going to be B2. So let's take Canada out. And let's close the first double quotes, use an ampersand sign, put in the cell reference B2, and put another ampersand sign to join the last piece of the function, and a double quote to start the last piece of the text. So essentially, we're joining state with whatever is in cell B2, and we're closing the, parent the square brackets. And we hit OK. Now, when we look at our drop down, we see that it's going to be dynamic based on whatever is in the cell besides the states. Select one of these. Now, let's do the same for our cities. Let's say we want to use Texas as an example or as a starting point. First off, let's select all of the cells where we want the drop down to appear, go to data validation select list and here we put in uh, the indirect function our table name is going to be cities and in square bracket is where we put in the name of the city so for example if we're using texas we're going to put in texas close the square bracket and close the double quotes and close the parentheses but here we don't want to use texas we want to use whatever is in the cell to the left of our city. So we first off close the double quotes so that the cities and the first square bracket is a text. Then we put in ampersand. Let's put in our address, our cell address, which is cell C2. Another ampersand sign. And then we open the, parent, the double quotes to close the last um, square brackets. And we hit OK. OK. Now you see that we have a dynamic list based on our state. So when it's Canada, we have the different Canadian states. And when we have the cities associated with the different states. And the same for India. Let's take a look. And also we have the associated cities. If this video helped, please hit the like button and come back for more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson. <music>